Mass migration turmoil. Right now, Haitians are leaving their country as gang violence and criminals tear it apart. So where do these migrants go? Tonight, our Yami Virheen investigates the southern border is on their radar. These images from Haiti are nothing new. The effects of earthquakes created by Mother Nature have destroyed the country. Back in 2021, Violet Kelly, a native Haitian who calls San Antonio home, spoke to us about the level of need after two massive earthquakes hit within 10 years. When this happened again, I was very, it was very, very sad news for me. In October of 2021, we also met migrants like Marie and her twin sons, Ewens and Milford, and followed their trek into the U.S. through Acuña, Mexico, and then on to Del Rio. They're now in Boston awaiting their asylum process to go through the system after fleeing their home in Haiti. The new wave of migrants are not coming because of an act of nature. It is the level of violence that, according to retired Homeland Security special agent in charge, Ari Jimenez, is caused by another factor. We're going to see an increase of people from Haiti coming to the southern border. We're also going to see an increase of criminal elements. Why? Because they have empty their jails. Haiti has been without a stable government since 2021, when their prime minister was assassinated. Haiti's national police is also weak and fighting the gangs that, according to the United Nations, have taken over 80 percent of Port-au-Prince, the capital of that country. Who's actually showing up our borders. Now we have criminal elements running in uh, the country of Haiti, and there's no nobody in the government to contact when you find people in Haiti to verify criminal uh, history records of the individual coming in. Most Haitians are coming through South America and crossing the jungle between Panama and Colombia. According to Panamanian immigration documents, Fox SA has obtained Haitians are among the top three nationalities crossing the jungle into Panama. So far in fiscal year 2024, 7,300 Haitians have entered Panama, along with more than 70,000 Venezuelans and almost 9,000 Ecuadorians. It's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. On Sunday alone, Panama saw 1,806 migrants enter the country through the jungle. Of those, 531 from Venezuela, 177 from China, and 79 from Haiti. And those numbers are expected to go up. But the question now is if this new wave of Haitians coming in will come through Texas or if they will change their route. We have to see if this group is going to move there uh, towards the West or if they're going to make it like in the past to the Rio and Eagle Pass area. Uh, if that's happening, uh, all roads are uh, going to end up in in uh, San Antonio. There is no one in the government of Haiti to verify that Haitians arriving here don't have a long criminal history. Jamie Virgen, Fox SA. For a more in-depth look at the crisis at the border, listen to Yami's award-winning podcast. It's available in English and Spanish wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.